Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome to Ancestors Legacy. This is a new RTS game that just released on Steam today. Uh, it's a squad base type of RTS game. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a Company of Heroes from what I've seen of the gameplay. Uh, of course, Company of Heroes takes place in World War II, while this one takes place in the Middle Ages, more specifically the early Middle Ages. So we're going to see like a, uh, Edward the Confessor, we're going to see Vikings, um, you also play as the Holy Roman Empire as well, uh, the Germans. So let's go ahead and just hop into this. I can just go ahead and show this to you guys. Uh, so we're going to just do a single play player campaign. I don't have like any experience with this game, by the way, guys. So, um, you know, it's an RTS game. It's got base building and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm probably not going to be great as it is. Um, but yeah, I've only done a little test campaign where I uh, was just testing this out. So uh, we are going to play the Vikings, Ulf Ironbeard. And that's because I believe... If I understand correctly, uh, this is the kind of tutorial, what is meant to be like the tutorial campaign. Uh, I believe they're going to add a tutorial as well, like a dedicated one. But this one is essentially the one that kind of, uh, you know, walks you into the gameplay, kind of uh, leads you by the hand a little bit. Before we go any further, I should mention that I am still sick, guys. So if you see any weird cuts, that's me uh, pausing to... Uh, cough or to die or something uh but yeah this this is uh the the available option to us you know anglo-saxons we have edward the confessor we have harold the second uh for the germans we have rudolph first and perhaps one more coming soon and then for the uh, slavs uh specifically the kingdom of poland uh we can play as miesko <laughs> probably ruin that uh pronunciation there uh, when you start the game, when you first load up the game, all these options will not be available to you. This is just because it's the re review build. I think you'll only be able to play as uh, these two here. Not not entirely sure, though, of course. Uh, and then also you won't be able to just pick any chapter. Uh, you'll have to play through it, I believe, uh, from the beginning. So let's go ahead and start out as Ulf Ironbeard, uh, trying to learn how to play the game. We're going to play on regular difficulty here. And I believe there should be a cut soon, uh, and I'll allow that to play and shut my mouth. On June 5th, 793, a storm was approaching the shores of the Kingdom of Northumbria. A few months earlier, Althing, the Council of Vikings, made the decision to plunder its largest abbey, the famous Lindisfarne. One of the leaders of this expedition was Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, a stern but respected man among his people. However, it wasn't meant for all of the Northmen to reach Lindisfarne by the sea. A storm that hit the coast of Northumbria has scattered some of their ships miles away from their destination. Ulf's raiding party landed near a town called Bambara. The Northmen saw it as an easy target to plunder. Little did they know that all of Northumbria was just coming out of a bloody civil war. Troops of a new King Ethel were battling remnants of recently murdered King Osred's royal army. For this reason, heavy garrisons were scattered throughout the country, and one of them was stationed just outside Bambara. Alright. Alright, so you guys can read this along here. I guess we'll, we'll take a little read here. On June 5th, 793 AD, Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, along with the other Jarls, set off for an invasive rally with the goal of plundering the wealthy Lindisfarne Monastery. Whilst at sea, however, they encountered a storm and Ulf's Drakars landed on the other side of the island near the Anglo-Saxon town of Bamberg. Alright. So, this one does seem to have... Because uh, when I tested, I just kind of grabbed a random campaign just to try and test the sound out. Um, yeah, I didn't have a little introduction here after the initial cutscene, so I think that's because this is that uh, uh, that tutorial uh, campaign.
All right, so we are uh, jumping off our boats. We're ready to get into some combat. I think we might be in a little bit of a pickle here because I think a lot of our troops were just killed in that battle or, uh, you know, on the way up here. But one of the things I'm really liking about the game so far is that you can really zoom in close to the battles and uh, get a good view of the, the carnage. It's pretty awesome. Of course, it doesn't look quite like this. This is all cinematic camera, of course. Um, but yeah, well, I'll show you guys once we, we get control of our, uh, our army. Oh, damn. I was not expecting that. I thought that was our hero character. I thought that was the main character. He was over here just wiping the floor of the, of the Anglo-Saxon army. Oh, okay, so all of our, our Viking troops died. Well, that's quite unfortunate, isn't it? I'm quite surprised about that, actually. All right, looks like uh, the heroes we're going to be playing as, they landed uh, quite far off from the battle here. All right, so we have, let's take a look here. Uh, squad selection, so yeah, this does teach us how to play here. This is the tutorial section. Uh, so yeah, we have a uh, squad of spear raiders here. Uh, so they want us to move them somewhere. Move them on over here. I don't know if we'll get control of all these guys. Probably not. Uh, we've got to meet with Ulf over here. All right, come on, guys. All right, we're going to be the last ones to go into battle. There you are. We missed our landing target, but there is a promising settlement to plunder. We have your back, Ulf! Alright, so we are now in control of Ulf. Uh, we need to protect him because he is the main character here, so yeah, we don't want him to die. Uh, so these are the only two that we currently have control of. But as you can see, there you don't really get... I think this is the max that you're going to get here, but you don't get a whole lot of squads that you control. Uh, there's only a few uh, that you'll be controlling. Some of them, of course, are just one one guy. All right, so let's join the allies over here. We'll never break through with those archers shooting at us. Let's try to encircle them. There should be another way along the shore. All right, so we need to flank the defenders. Um, guessing they want us to go. Yeah, we're gonna go over that right around over here around the mountain through the goat path oh, this isn't really a goat path but uh, you gotta go through the goat path and, and, and flank them get behind them and uh, help our troops out here because uh, it looks like we are taking very heavy casualties those catapults there are uh, fucking our troops up I'm actually a little bit surprised they're using catapults uh, when was the trebuchet uh, invented uh, I was thinking that do we not have do we have both of our guys here Looks like we are missing a dude. Yes, sir. Ulf has stayed behind. Damn coward. Get on over here. While we wait for Ulf here, uh, <laughs> take his sweet ass time to get over here. I guess I didn't have both of them selected. That was my bad. Uh, yeah, let's go and get these guys uh, moving on over here. Looks like there are already some archers firing on our allies. It just don't look like archers. It looks like uh, slingers. Oh, we do have some archers in there. All right, so let's get these guys wiped out. They should be pretty easy. Archers are cowards. All right, but just to show you guys, so this is a good battle to show you since we don't have to worry so much about losing here, uh, that you can get up really close to the battle, uh, which is pretty cool. I think we're currently zoomed in on a guy who's not fighting. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it's an interesting little aspect of the game. I like that. Uh, get up close. See uh, the carnage. Alright, so we're going to flank these guys. They thought they were safe. Little did they know. A horde of fucking Vikings coming behind them. Look at them try and run. <laughs> fucking pussies. Uh, that's, you, you put your cowardly people on the catapult. They only have to pull. Um, I don't even know. I think you just pull this and uh, to uh, fire it. Um, and it looks like we're actually in control of four squads now. Excellent. Alright, so let's go and get these guys wiped out. I know that we have some abilities here. Uh, for each squad, though I'm not seeing any for any of the guys we currently have selected. Let's make sure that they're all fighting. Uh, it sounds like, seems like a lot of them are kind of standing around not doing anything. Um, 
All right, I'm guessing that we don't have any of the skills unlocked just yet because this is a uh, tutorial. It's, it's baby steps, guys, baby steps. All right, so we'll get into this, get into the, the well, never mind, we're not gonna see anything. All right, so. We need to destroy these buildings to prevent reinforcements. Gods are with us. It stopped raining. Now we can burn everything down! Could just start raining again, though. Uh, so well, let's go ahead and uh, probably avoid the combat here and, and focus on burning down everything we're supposed to. I suppose we'll go after the archery range first, because I think that's probably the closest one. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them moving over this way. We're going to move all of our squads at the same time. Uh, keep them together, I think, would probably be the best option. It looks like it's mostly just archers that we're currently fighting right now, uh, so I think we should be able to handle them up. Uh, we're going to send all of them in, and look at Ulf, man. He just gets all up in it. All right, why don't you come over here and fight these slingers here, guys? Take them out, uh, and uh, then we'll try and burn this down. Yeah, I love getting deep into it. Uh, damn. He fucked that dude up. Alright, so we've lit in the archery range on fire. They're currently uh, getting that done for us. Let's see what this here says. It might sometimes be worth waiting for clear sires before torching buildings. So that's interesting that that rain is considered in the game, uh, that it will put out the fires, so you want to be able to destroy buildings. Uh, looks like a bunch of uh, slingers came out, and they're not doing so well. They're all on fire now. All right, so let's get them destroyed. Uh, and I believe these are our allies here, so we don't have to worry about them. Uh, let's finish up these slingers here, and then we will move along to the barracks. All right, that was probably something we might wanted to, to have gotten kind of early uh, because um, we could have caught them while they were sleeping. All right, so it seems that, yeah, our guys are, are throwing fire as they go. We can destroy all the buildings in the city. Uh, you would think you'd want to loot them first. I don't know. Maybe that's just my, uh, uh, my looter blood speaking here uh, because I'm a looter at heart. Uh, I would think you'd want to, like, go inside the buildings and, you know, actually, like, Look for uh, valuables or something like that first. All right, so let's go ahead and get this uh, burnt burnt up here. Uh, get this finished. Uh, the barracks, and then I believe this is the last building, just the church. And it, it does seem that they have a, a wall of spears protecting this here. Might be a little bit difficult to get through there. All right, so the barracks have been destroyed. Let's go in, and we don't really have any build uh, abilities, so there's not really any strategy that we can really make use of right now. It's kind of just throw all of our all of our troops at their spears. Really, that's all there is to it. Uh, we could make sure that Ulf stays in the back because he kind of seems like he likes to run right up in it. So maybe not let him like charge in there uh, before all the other troops. Might be smart. Uh, so we got all our guys in here. Let's take a look, see how things are going. It looks like we are uh, taking them down nicely. All right, excellent. Um, yeah, they don't, they don't stand a chance against our, our Viking warriors here. Got people running scared. Yep. <laughs> I see some of these dudes. I'm like, pick up a pick up a weapon, man. Come on, help out. Because uh, there's nowhere to go. I mean, where do you know, what are you gonna do? All right, so uh, we just about got them wrapped up. We have like three dudes remaining here, and we are just pummeling them. Good God, that's fucking vicious. All right, so let's go ahead and burn this up here. And then uh, I believe that's the last task that we had assigned to us. Uh, Ulf survived here, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. What does this button do? It looks like a power button on a PC. Afraid if I touch it. Okay, that just pulls it pulls it out. All right. Huh. Oh, I guess that is what it looks like. It's a magnifying glass. Okay, I'm just an idiot. All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, well, all right, there we go. Coming in great numbers. All right, so that is a great number of Anglo-Saxon troops here. What I would really like to do, well, okay, so we change our stances here. Uh, yeah, sure, let's do that. Uh, we're going to change the stance, and that's going to put them all into a defensive formation. I was going to say it would be really a good idea to. Uh, put our troops here, this is Total War style, put our troops to block the gates so that they can't surround us. But it is a tutorial, so we're going to do what they tell us to do. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and 
get in a defensive position, though clearly we're not in the right facing. <laughs> we are facing the wrong way. All right. Um, I don't know if there's any way that you can change the, uh, the facing of your troops. Because uh, our guys were confused. They were thinking the enemy was coming from this direction. All right, well, uh, there's really not anything for us to do other than to uh, let our troops battle on out. And uh, hopefully they do well. It does look like we are taking a, a lot of casualties at the moment. Okay, well, that's that's unfortunate. I think we just lost a whole squad. Though we do have... Hold up, we got some scouts here. Can we charge them? Yes, let's do that. Let's charge them from behind. Or, I guess not. I suppose they want us to retreat. All right, I was going to charge them, but clearly we are meant to lose this battle. So they want us to hit that retreat button, and our, our troops are going to get the fuck out of there. Run, men, run! All right, the chapter is complete. Oh, has survived. Uh, these chapters are pretty quick overall. Remember, there's I think there's five chapters for each uh, for each leader. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue on to chapter two. Overwhelmed by the forces of the enemy, cut off from their ships, the Northmen had to escape. Those who did not retreat in time lost their lives or became captives. Once harsh invaders looking for prey, the Northmen suddenly became prey themselves. Luckily, they found salvation in a nearby forest, which became their temporary shelter. Here, they could catch a moment of respite from the pursuing Britons. Here, Jarl Ulf Ironbeard, who suffered injuries during the fight, could heal his wounds and recover. However, a new problem arose for the people of the North. In order to survive and to have any chance to join the rest of the expedition against Lindisfarne, they had to gather food and supplies. And yeah, the Vikings were sea raiders. Typically things did not go well for them when they got too far away from their ships. Uh, they're more into the hit and run tactics. Uh, so uh, after destroying the town of Bamberg and retreating from the overwhelming enemy's forces, the Viking survivors hid in the woods trying to survive. Their main goal was to free their captured comrades and rebuild the army. Okay, so we're in a, uh, a state of weakness right now. You made it! Good to see you alive, Jarl. We retreated as soon as they started winning the battle in the village. We lost many good men in there, and many were taken hostage. Tonight, they dine in Valhalla. Look! It's our scout! He's back! I found food supplies. There is a farm and a hunting hut north from here. If we plunder both places, we will have food for many days. We cannot go. We need to patch our wounds. Take care of your warriors, brother. I'll get those supplies. Okay, so we have one spear raider unit. Okay, uh, that's all we have control of right now. Scouting the nearby area. So let's go ahead and get the supplies that we need here. Uh, oh wow, they're pretty far away. Okay, well hopefully we don't run into too many enemies along the way. Where's the first batch? Okay, we have several over here. And uh, hopefully it's just some villagers that will just cower, cower in fear as we enter the village. Stop. Someone's coming. We can't let them alarm anyone. Let's make an ambush in one of those bushes. Don't get too close to the light, or they will All right, so. These units have these uh, field of visions here, and we don't want to enter that. Uh, so we can make an ambush anywhere. I suppose we'll do it over here, uh, and hopefully he doesn't see us. Uh, we're going to get into this long grass here, where we are hidden. So high grass and bushes are good hiding places. As long as your squad stays hidden inside and the enemies can't see you, this gives you a significant tactical advantage. Okay. Um, so, do we just have to wait until he gets really close? And then maybe we get, like, a little extra damage on the first time that we attack? Alright. Hopefully that is an ambush. <laughs> Alright, um, we'll see if we checked it. We did. Excellent. We ambushed him. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the rest of these supplies. 
uh, grab all these up, uh, and I believe, what, three or four of them? Looks like three of them are here. Let's grab these up, and then we're gonna have to go to a, another village. All right, time to look for the hunting hut. All right, so let me just see the best route to there. I suppose we could take the roads, though, of course, the roads will most likely be patrolled. Uh, but we'll, we'll take the roads until we see see an enemy. Uh, and maybe we won't uh, won't find anybody. Maybe there are... Uh, oh, there we are. Wait. Someone is coming. That's a strong squad. They probably got a camp nearby. Let's hide in the bushes and wait for them to pass. All right, so we are hidden, and it seems that this this little icon here is, is tells us that we are uh, hidden in the, the grass here. Uh, I wonder if this icon is offensive. Let me just check here. Yes. All right, so that tells us when whether we're in offensive or defensive. All right, and I'm not entirely sure the difference. I would imagine that... One makes you better at dealing damage, and the other one, you know, maybe gives you a boost to your defense. Not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and collect the rest of this food here. Be a good place to rest. They've got some of our friends, guys. All right, so let's get into the bushes here. Oh, too late. <laughs> All right, so we've been spotted because I did not act quick enough, and I don't believe we can survive that. No, nope. Uh, so let's retry it. Uh, clearly, you do not want to be caught. All right, so let these guys pass here. And yeah, they are rolling deep. Damn, look at this! They're just smashing these farmers' fucking fences and shit. Well, that's uncalled for. All right, it's a rough life in the Middle Ages. Soldiers destroying your fences and shit for no reason. I guess if I was that beefy where I could just run into a fence and destroy it, then I suppose I would probably Look, want to do that as well. All right, so let's see if we can't get into the long grass immediately. No, it wouldn't let me go right into it. I don't know if my current orders stand. All right, there they are in it. Excellent. So we should be hidden this time. As tempted as I am to save our Norse archers here. And you see them when we got into the fight. I was hoping that they would, like, uh, help us out. But nope, they sprinted for it. So they survived where our poor little scouts didn't make it. Uh, so we actually need to go that way. Let's take the, uh, the, the path along the main road here. Because we don't want to tangle with those guys. Oh, there's another one over there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's stay out of his little circle there. Because I'm sure he can uh, call his buddies in. And it looks like we got some more coming that way as well. Okay, and that's a larger unit. Alright, so is this guy just walking back and forth right here? Yeah, he's just walking back and forth. He's patrolling this little stretch of land. This is the only area that matters to him. Alright, so yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, get past them that way. I mean, we might be able to sneak past there, but I think it's too risky here. Let's instead uh, take a different route. So if we can't go around this way. We know there's another guard over there somewhere. I think we can avoid him pretty easy. Um, coming up on here. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't want to get caught by these guys. I don't know if they can see us through the wall there. I don't know if there's a line of sight function. See another guy over here. I don't think he can see us either. Uh, so we do have to eliminate the enemies that are over here. Uh, so hopefully it's just one enemy uh, because we only got three little dudes in. So far they have not proven uh, to do so well in uh, battles. All right, so hold up. Don't run over there just yet. So I need to get rid of the guards. Is there an ambush site? A good ambush site we want to make use of here? Yes, there is. Uh, we're gonna want to use that grass there. Uh, they're coming. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna attempt to get into this grass here and then use that ambush. Uh, they clearly probably taught us that for a reason. Uh, so I think we're gonna wanna use it because as of right now, I believe we're gonna be 
it's going to be a uh, three against three. All right, so we do have the grass here covering us. So we'll attack them as they go because we know that we have a, a civilian mob here. Are these mobs too? Oh, well, these guys might be pretty easy just because they're they're civvies. Yeah, they shouldn't be too difficult to take, but let's get the bonus anyways. Attack! All right, so hopefully got a nice little bonus. I don't know. Can't really tell. Uh, so we've taken them out. They were pretty easy. Uh, we probably didn't need to attempt to ambush them because they uh, got pitchforks and I guess he's got an axe. Uh, hand axe. But yeah, they didn't do so well. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, loot this food here. I'm really glad that I did the tutorial, though. As I said, I did a little test. Um, come on, grab the food. Huh, what's going on here? Go around, go around this way. All right, so we've gotten all the food. Excellent. I believe that's all we had to get here. That's Yoder, poor bastard. A squad must have wandered off when we retreated from the beach. It seems like they wanted some food and got killed by the Brits. Fools. Wait, there's a blood trail. Maybe someone survived. We need to find out. All right, so we got to look for the survivors, guys. Uh, but yeah, I did a uh, quick little, you know, sound test and uh, just kind of messed around with the controls a little bit. And uh, yeah, the section I was playing as and uh, playing in, oh, it was it was brutal, guys. It was quite difficult. Uh, much more challenging than this is. Uh, so let me just take a look here. Who is this guy? One of us must have fallen to those filthy Brits. All right, so we've lost. Oh, it's damn! Sad. They hung him. It was his first raid. Bastards. He must have escaped the Christians. But they got him eventually. Hmm. Maybe they went the other way. All right, that is not a good way to go, guys. Go. All right, so it seems there's a right. another blood trail here. Maybe the other direction. Let's hope that one of our compatriots like survived. Gun. It belonged to one of us. You must be getting close. Let's go. All right. Is this the Brits? They must have taken our brothers. We have to get them out. There's too many of them. We should eliminate one squad at a time. If we burn this village, someone will come to check what's going on. All right, so the mechanic we're learning now is the art of distraction. All right, so we're going to attempt to distract these squads over here and uh, hope that they come to investigate this village as we burn it down. Uh, but, but yeah, the... Uh, Last, yeah, like I was saying, that, that first campaign I played was challenging, guys. So we're just going to take this guy out because he's just a civilian mob. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and take him out and uh, get him wrapped up. And then, yeah, we will burn. Oh, which house to burn? It feels kind of messed up. I guess they've decided they're going to burn the cart. Okay. <laughs> Kill that guy real quick. And we just have to watch to see if they send anybody over here. I guess go ahead and burn this house here, guys. Uh, do we have to burn the whole village up? No, we just need to burn two of the houses there. All right, so let's go and get this burnt. Seems that the villagers actually do come out of their house and uh, attempt to fight back. Come on, kill them. Get them. All right, got them. And let's get this uh, house burnt down. And uh, that should get the enemy coming over here and we can take them out. Uh, I'm assuming that we should probably... Get into the that. long grass here and uh, attempt an ambush. See if we can make this happen. Alright, so I'm going to guess that he's going to come along this path. And yes, here he comes. Coming to investigate these fires. And then he's going to get a spear in his ass. No one expected it. Alright, there they are. They actually sent uh, three dudes. Okay. Um, I suppose we'll... Oh, they spent more than three. They spent four dudes. Well, let's charge. <laughs> I'm hoping that we can charge this one guy, get him killed before the other ones can even get over here. Yes, it looks like that did work out all right. Now we just have to deal with these guys. It does seem that we did lose. No, no, we haven't lost anybody just yet. Not yet. Um, but yeah, there is uh, more than us right now. We are outnumbered. Well, that's not good. Yeah, it looks like we are about to lose now because of that. Um, 
Yeah, I don't think, I think being outnumbered is actually a pretty big disadvantage. Yep, all of our warriors died. All right, let's go burn the house. Hopefully it uh, works better. I don't I don't know exactly the best way to do this then. Um, because yeah, there's really no way to, hmm, maybe we should just wait and see what they do rather than just, you know, just jumping into the, the battle. Uh, maybe we need to go to that camp first. Uh, maybe the majority of the troops are in fact here uh, and the better thing to do is just uh, avoid them and then attack the camp that might be the better way to do it all right so we're still okay we've finished killing that guy uh let's go and get this this place burnt down uh and uh yeah this is that's what we're gonna do this time we're gonna attempt to hide in the grass i'll see if i can't get to that grass um what is it to see and is that fucking civilian killing us man yeah we're taking some damage guys all right, before we get in that battle, I would love to be able to heal up. That'd probably be nice, but uh, oh, we can use the cart to burn the house. I think they were doing that first time. Kill that guy. Kill him. Get him. Yeah, it looks like we took took a bit of damage from a fucking civilian, man. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I, I'd like to be able to heal them. You know what I might do here, in fact. This should do it. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Let's go and get into the grass. I was going to say, before we burn this house down, let's go ahead and heal up just a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to get into this grass. Looks like we're going to be in their field of vision if we don't get in there soon. All right, we're into the grass. Excellent. So we are now behind them. Looks like there's another dude coming behind him. I think we saw that before. So let's just see if this was what we were supposed to do. If we were supposed to go into the village. Uh, yes. All right, let's go ahead and charge them. Looks like they are attempting to set the alarm off. We need to stop that so they don't uh, get those other troops over here. We do outnumber them. Uh, it is three to two. And we have now recruited the Norse archers. Excellent. So we have some archers here to assist us. All right, so... Telling us to rest up. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and rest up a bit. And uh, there are more allies that we're going to need to free up. We have some over here. And we have some... Ooh, these ones are really far away. Uh, so yeah, we have some over here as well. Well, these are clearly the closer ones. So we're going to go after those ones, guys. Uh, so we're currently resting, getting healed up. Looks like they are finished. Uh, let's go ahead and, and move along the road here. Uh, and I think what we're going to attempt to do... Obviously, we don't want to get our archers into melee battle. Uh, so we're going to want to keep our uh, spear raiders in the front here. And uh, maybe set these guys up. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Hold up. Let's get into that grass. Come on. Come on. Get in there. All right. We're not going to engage anybody uh, if we don't have to. Uh, we're going to try and avoid them because uh, we don't want to take any damage uh, before we get to the main camp over here. So let them pass. You will live today. All right, and let's uh, get these guys moving over here. So what I would like to do, I wonder if there's a good location to put our archers. I'm not really seeing it. Uh, I don't have like a, uh, some high ground or anything like that. Another village. We can burn it down to draw their attention and free our brothers. All right, so now they're wanting us to do the same thing that we did before. Uh, now, of course, we have a lot more troops, though, and it does look like, yeah, there are a lot of a lot of guys over there. We probably don't want to uh, fight them all. Even with our larger numbers here, probably wouldn't it be a good idea. All right, so there actually are some villagers here, but we're not too worried about those. We're going to go get those guys killed, and what we're going to do is have this guy burn that while these ones here... Uh, attack. I wonder what I got the untouchable thing for. Interesting. Uh, yeah, you guys, come on. Take this out. Huh. I wonder why they can't. Saying they're not close enough or something like that. Oh, go ahead and take this out. There we go. Alright, so we'll get these uh, burned down here. And it looks like there is a civilian mob guy over here. And what's he doing? He's fucking cowering. Alright, so we've done it. Let's get our guys out of here. Uh, oh, shit. Alright, so... You guys gotta get out of there. <laughs> We're about to have all of these troops here. Get out of there, guys. <laughs> this guy's just sitting here. Retreat! Alright, so our archers got stuck behind there. That's obviously not good. Uh, so you guys are gonna get into there. Uh, you guys are gonna come on over here as well. Uh, that kind of defeats the purpose of a distraction, guys. <laughs> if you get seen over there. 
Uh, I couldn't get them out of there. They weren't, uh, maybe I didn't have them both selected. Uh, yeah, I don't know, because I was clicking on them. Seems like once I get in battles, the only way to really get them out of battle is to hit that retreat button. Which is hotkey V. I have to remember that. Alright, so let's have these guys attack. Uh, looks like they were over here healing. Um, and we do have our archers here behind. Um, they should be providing a bit of cover. I don't know if they can do friendly damage. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm not seeing anything to indicate that we're taking friendly damage. Uh, it's not something they told us about. So let's just assume that we don't do friendly damage. Uh, looks like our squad is currently taking pretty heavy losses overall. Uh, they're not doing so well in this battle here. Uh, the squad did level up, though. Interesting. I didn't know they had levels. Uh, okay, those little numbers there must be the levels. All right, I wonder what that means. I'm assuming they just get they just get better. Do we have like new traits or anything that we can pick? Like, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any kind of level up here. Oh, okay, we can do that. Specialization there. All right, well, let's go ahead and finish the battle first. We did recruit some soldiers. All right, excellent. It's going to get the archers moving on over here with the rest of the team. And then I think we're probably going to go ahead and heal up a bit. I think that'd probably be a good idea. Why don't you guys get into the camp? And uh, let's heal up. Though, before we do that, I would like to select a specialization. Okay, so we can upgrade defense, offense, or speed. All right, guys, so I think we're going to go ahead and go with offensive. Why not? We're Vikings. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and heal these guys up as well. Anybody who needs, needs a little bit of healing. Uh, let's get them healed up before we continue on to the next camp, which, as you guys might recall, is a bit of a distance away. It's going to take us a little while to get over there. All right, so if everybody is done healing, which I believe they are, let's go ahead and uh, start moving over there. I uh, don't know exactly what the best route. I'm kind of just going to take a direct route and just attempt to avoid any patrols if we can. Uh, maybe we might have to take out a couple people, I suppose. We got... We have a large enough army now, though I don't really like the archers being in the front there, so let's move these guys in the back. Uh, but yeah, we have a large enough army, we might be able to take uh, take anything out that we run into pretty easily, and we can always heal before we get there as well. Um, you, you heal your health. I know it seems kind of overpowered, but it only heals the health of the... Oh, wait a minute. I guess we'll go in here. That does seem like a rather large army. I don't see any reason to take the casualties if we don't need to. You guys can go ahead and get in there. Uh, if you're not already hidden, oh yeah, there's a, there's two of them. Did they just attack? Why are you guys attacking? <laughs> Stop that shit! All right, so we flanked them, we outnumber them. I guess that's what's important here. Uh, it seems, yeah, they just keep, they're just firing on them. That's weird. Do you have to tell them to hold their fire? Yeah, it looks like you do. Okay. Well, let's go and get these guys taken out then. Uh, but yeah, apparently you have to tell them to hold their fire. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's tell them to hold their fire then. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it will stay selected there. Uh, so that's that's what happened, is I didn't have them selected to hold their fire, so that's what got us into trouble there. In fact, let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, it does seem a little bit like it's overpowered, uh, the healing up. Uh, but do remember, guys, um, we'll just heal all these guys up if they need to be, uh, is that that only heals the health of the, the dudes that are still alive. It uh, doesn't bring uh, soldiers back. Uh, so if you lost a, a guy and he's dead, there's nothing you can do to get him back. Uh, so I believe everybody's healed up. Let's go ahead and continue on. Let's see if uh, we can't avoid the uh, patrols this time. I think that'd be for the best. Because yeah, you can see these two squads here are not full. They don't have full numbers at the moment. And I believe it's going to be... Hmm... Yeah, we'll continue down this road uh, for right now. And it, I wouldn't be surprised if along this fork on the road here, we didn't run into some enemies. Get into the brush. Go, 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 go. Get in there, guys. All right. I think they're in there. It looks like the archer might be visible. All right, so they should be hidden. They have the little icon saying that they're hidden. I think they would have been hidden last time if the archers weren't just shooting at people. Once again, we could, uh, we could kill them. I, d I don't see any reason to. I suppose you get experience uh, from doing so, so I guess there's that. Uh, we can see the little uh, experience bar here. I believe when that fills up, then they get a little bit of experience there. What are the stars, I wonder? Hmm. 
I'm not entirely sure what the, the these guys these have a star while this guy has that. I'm not sure what that means. All right, well, let's let's continue on. Uh, it seems there are enemies over here, so let's avoid them going around this way. It is a bit more difficult to avoid being seen. Although I wonder if that's just the light. Yeah, that might just be the light here. Did all? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Shoot. I'm a Northman like you. I managed to escape. Where are the others? In the other camp. You'll need men to set them free, and you need to hurry up. The Brits want to set them on fire as an act of revenge. Yeah, looks like they already lit them on fire. Yeah, that's that's a really, really bad way to go. We've got to save our men, guys. All right, so it looks like we have one shield bear. Uh, so yeah, let's hurry up and get him over here. Uh, it seems that we want to do the similar tactic here uh, that we've used before and burn this village up. Uh, I would like to, well, I guess that's just a civilian mob, so that's not really a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and burn this up and try and get them uh, over here. So those are the guards that we have to kill. Let's go ahead and burn that up. And I think there's one more, yeah, right here. We're gonna have to burn up. Uh, we do have to kill this guy though. Kill him, charge. Yeah, let's kill these two guys. Should be easy enough. Uh, yeah, I just saw a little friendly fire icon there. So yes, you do take friendly fire. That's something to consider. Okay, so we might want to do this a little bit different then. Make sure that our archers have a direct shot to the enemy. All right, so that's good to know. I'm glad that we discovered that. that. Will get their attention. All right, so let's go ahead and get all these guys out of here. Um, I don't know which direction they're gonna be coming from. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Oh, 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 <laughs> get out of there. This is not the direction we wanted to run. That was silly of me. All right, so, hmm. Okay, they're taking a weird ass route. <laughs> not entirely sure what they're doing. It doesn't look like they're leaving the camp, though. All right, now they're now they're leaving. All right, excellent. So we're gonna attempt to go this way. We're gonna have to fight a guy. That's okay. It's just a civilian mob. It's just one of them. Let's go and get him. Uh, we won't use the archer though. Let's move the archer independently. And uh, yeah, I don't. I, I think we actually have to tell him to to fire. So I don't think he'll fire anybody unless we tell him to fire on him. So let's let's move this guy over this way. These guys are gonna come onto the camp, and then we're gonna try and give the archers a line of fire, a line of sight to the enemy here. Uh, let's see if we can't get them firing from over here. I don't know if they'll be able to do that or not. We'll just have to see, guys. All right. So can they fire from here? It looks like they can. They should be able to avoid them. All right. Excellent. Awesome. All hail the God who reigns supreme. Good to have you all back. Who is this infidel coming with you? The name's Godric. Take me with you and I'll help you. I'll show you the nearby camps where you can get wood. We could go there and secure those resources. All right, so we had some uh, a civilian mob over here that did uh, kind of stumble upon us here. Uh, so we do need to protect Godric. Uh, who's that? Okay, that's this character here. Uh, make sure that he survives. Well, he can't die. Uh, so it does seem that the civilian mobs are, are coming over this way. All right, well, the camp that we need to get to is right here. We need to secure the wood camp. I believe we're just gonna, we're just gonna go into it. I don't think we need to do any uh, fancy stuff burned anything down. Let's go and get these guys moving. Uh, it seems that we did not save them. We just saved the, uh, okay, I didn't think we were going to save those ones. Yeah, they did they didn't make it, guys. Alright. So let's go through here. I suppose we'll we, I mean, we could just go around uh, all the, the dudes here. I think that'd probably be the best way to do it, actually. Uh, yeah, let's just go around them. No reason to fight them. Uh, take casualties. Uh, although, actually, one thing we're probably going to want to do is heal up some of these units here. As you can see, several of them have taken a bit of damage. So let's go ahead and get them to stop right there. And then let's heal these guys up. Uh, all the guys that currently need healing, looks like the majority of them need it. 
All right, excellent. So these guys are going to heal up here, uh, and then we'll attack the camp. Uh, so what I was going to say when that, that cutscene ended here is that I'm definitely stretching <laughs> the limits of my, my voice. Uh, you know, as I said before earlier in the video, uh, I am a bit sick, unfortunately. So why are these guys not... Hmm. Oh, okay, they're just taking a bit of time. Uh, so they got to move through the whole process from uh, red to orange to yellow then green. Interesting. Right, so they're the only ones that were still healing. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm sick and, and uh, yeah, I think it's recording a video this long is definitely stretching stretching my uh, lungs right now. All right, so let's see. Can't secure this damn wood camp. All right, so I don't want to just charge in. I think that'd probably be stupid. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything fancy like burning down uh, any of the, the camps or anything like that. It doesn't seem like there's anything for us to burn down here. Uh, but what I would like to do is have the archers set up so that they can, uh, you know, make sure that they have uh, a clear line of sight. Yeah, so they'll we'll give them we'll probably place them right over here is what I'm thinking. Obviously, we don't want them to get attacked, uh, and then we're just gonna have these guys. You know what? Actually. It'd probably be wise to use some of them uh, for flanking. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring these ones over this way. And we're going to attempt to uh, flank them here. Uh, which one is Godric? All right, so this guy can go. These guys can go over this way. Well, the other three. Good to see you. I saw a party of Brits heading in that direction. They want our wood. We need it to repair ships and build siege machines. We need to secure this wood camp at all costs. Oh, okay. So we're not attacking. <laughs> all right. So let's go and grab the uh, the wood here. Uh, I thought we were attacking somebody, but we're not. All right. Got a little overzealous with it. All right, so let's go and collect this wood up here. Let's get all of it collected as quickly as possible. Uh, and yeah, I believe we are done here. Excellent. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Prepare an ambush. Okay, so to set a trap where your squad is standing, click trap from their command menu. All right, so who has con who has a trap? Uh, does everybody have traps? No. Well, this guy's got rage. All right. Um, these guys, it seems that they do have traps. All right, so we're going to want them to go over there. A devastating trap that kills enemies instantly. That does seem quite useful. All right, so set the trap up. It does look like it takes a bit of time to do. Uh, let's go ahead and set these archers in the uh, grass here. I think that would probably be the best location to set them up. All right, and then we're going to have these guys come over this way, and then these troops will hold the line here. Uh, and did they not die? <laughs> All right, hurry up. Get over there. All right, so that didn't work out. Attack! All right, so we need to get them over there. Let's get our archers going um, somewhere else, not here. Uh, let's have them retreat. All right, and then have you guys take them out, and you guys take those guys out. Uh, and wow, they when they when you tell them to retreat, they really retreat. Uh, so I want them over here and see if we can't uh, attack from up in this direction. Uh, we are currently taking some casualties here. Not doing so well over here. Um, yeah, they are fucking us up. All right, is everybody in the battle that can be? All right, we want to make sure that we got to make sure that Roderick survives here. We're going to tell this guy to retreat because I don't think he's going to make it otherwise. Uh, and then we're going to have these guys fire on them from above. Uh, firemen, fire! All right, so we're going to try and take out those troops there who are clearly doing some casualties to us at the moment. Uh, but I think we're going to I think we're going to make it, guys. They are looking pretty good. Uh, those archers fuck them up. Damn. Nice. This guy's all flipping around and shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, somebody else leveled up as well. Can you level up during battle, I wonder? I'll just take a look here. Uh, it looks like you can, though I think time keeps on moving here. All right, it. so we will all do that here in a minute. Are dead. All right, well, I guess we're not going to be doing anything because we just finished up the chapter. All right, excellent. All right, so we're going to go and quit to the main menu. That was the second chapter of the, uh, what's it? God, what's his name? <laughs> we haven't played as him the entire time, so I can't remember his damn name. Uh, his name is Ulf Ironbeard. All right, so we finished up the second chapter there. Uh, next chapter is Unexpected Allies. Ulf's comrades made their way to Lindisfarne to join the rest of the invaders. To get the necessary supplies and weapons, they decided to prepare an ambush on an English caravan their scouts had tracked down. All right, so that'll be the next uh, 
uh, mission that we can play here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's an interesting little game. I like these these squad based RTSs. I, I told you guys in the beginning that it's a, a base building RTS and it kind of made me out to be a liar because we haven't seen any base building yet. I pretty sure I'm pretty sure there's base building guys. Uh, I saw it in the uh, was it the trailer or on the, the Steam page? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's there's a base building and that's why there's those resources the uh, the wood and the iron. Um, there's iron in, in the game as well. I don't think we saw that here in this mission. So I'm pretty sure there is base building in the game, guys, and we just haven't got to there yet. And it might be because we're playing the tutorial missions at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you leave that like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so that you know whenever we put up new videos. Uh, and also leave a comment, guys. I love talking to you. I read and reply to all comments. Uh, you know, let me know what you're thinking of the game. Uh, if you're playing the game yourself, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, uh, as well as any tips as well, because obviously, uh, you know, I'm quite new to it. So if you're playing it too and you've got some useful tips and hints, um, I'm definitely willing to hear you out on that. Also, those likes and those comments do help with the search engine. So if you want to help the channel grow, then all that helps. So thanks for joining me, guys. I definitely enjoyed this. Um, I'm liking it. Something something different than what I typically play. Uh, so I do think we're probably going to be doing a second video. I mean, of course, it depends on, you know, views and, and stuff like that. But yeah, I think we're probably going to do a second video, at least do a few more missions and see how it goes, guys. Thanks for watching.